Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, July 14, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you will need to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin. And as you can see, it is really tumbling at this current stage. It is really fragile, this market. It did try to rally up towards the 300 moving average and then bank fell and open right now and continues to fall. We are going to have a crossing here of the MACD and the signal line indicating bearish momentum. Stochastic is bearish and so is the RSI. If we're to break below 30, uh, 30, uh, 30k, then we are most likely going to test the 28 and then 25, 20 and then, well, much lower than that if you break 20k every single time we try to rally here up towards the 50 it just gets sold into and people are at this current stage not buying the dips so there have been uh, certain areas where they have bought them you can see it right here when they got really overstretched people bought it it also got fairly overstretched here and they bought them and same goes for here but at this current stage this is slowly just dropping off a cliff so let's look at Ethereum. same goes for Ethereum. it did rally quite nicely up towards the 50 moving average and since then we have fallen in fallen so now we're trading underneath the 200 moving average probably gonna have a crossing now of the 20 and the 200 and probably the 50 and the 200 within the next two weeks and um, if we'll probably find the support down here at the middle, at bottom of the bullish band at 1800 uh, 1766 break below that then the 300 moving average down here at 1500 macd has just crossed the signal line indicating bearish momentum stochastic is bearish and so is the rsi and there's quite a lot of room to the downside so 300 moving average kind of looks like the target here break below 1500 then we open that opens the door to 1000 and after that a massive tidal wave down towards probably 100. So let's look at uh, Cardano. So Cardano also has rallied up towards the 50 moving average and then has dropped yet again. And now it looks like we're going to target to 100. And that's down at the 1.09. MACD just crossed the signal line. Stochastic is bearish and so is RSI. Break below 200 moving average. Then we we're going to test $1. And then probably 300 moving average down to 0.76. Looks like every time we try to rally, we are finding massive resistance at the 50 moving average, which is trading at 1.44 at this current stage. So let's look at Litecoin. Yes, Litecoin, very similar here, struggling at the 20 exponential, tried to rally up here, broke down, and now just going slowly to the downside, trading at 190. Uh, and now 129 and uh, kind of here is going to be the where we'll see whether or not this falls apart it's roughly at at uh, 100 dollars uh, for this crypto uh, cryptocurrency and that will basically make this drop towards this level here at 70 and then 63 and then much lower than that it is slowly just dropping off a cliff like similar to most of the other cryptocurrencies so let's look at uh, NEO. So NEO this is basically the same graph, it's struggling at the 20 exponential, falling uh, towards uh, roughly uh, $29. After that, if we drop, drop below $25, then we're probably going to 20, and then much lower than that. Then we're gonna have to look at where we are here, down to uh, 10, 12, uh, $13. MACD is still bullish and stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish and still a room to the downside. It'll probably bounce off at 29.58, which is the bottom of the bullish band. So let's look at Dogecoin. So this took a real hit today, down roughly 5%, and now it's just getting closer and closer to the 200 moving average. Wouldn't be surprised if we bounce from the 200 moving average, which is roughly at 0.17. MACD is crossed the signal line in the big indicated bearish momentum. Stochastic is crossed bearish, and so is the RSI. 200 moving average will mostly make this bounce to the upside. But at this current stage, if this continues, then the 20 and the 200 will cross. 50 and the 200 will cross within the next uh, few weeks. And uh, that will probably make this drop towards the 300 moving average down here at 0 0.11. 
So momentum definitely has changed here. We did have a bounce of the 200 moving average only a few weeks ago, but yeah, this uh, people are not buying the dips at this current stage. So hope you find it helpful in your own support channel. Welcome to help this channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck and thank you very much.